Compared to social bookmarking submissions, article directories are a little bit different. At the top, we have the same options for choosing a profile and entering an output URL and the RSS list, which I'll do. So give me a second to complete this. Okay, so now here on the left, we have three tabs. Our first tab is Create Spinner Article and allows us to enter an article and also spin it by clicking the Auto Generate Spinner Variations button. Uh, I'll get to the article in, in just a second, but first, let me fill in this author name and bio information. So I'll use the name of my profile. You don't have to do this name, but I'll use it in this case. As author bio, you can make something up about yourself. So give me a few seconds to write a sentence here so that we can move on. Okay, now that's done, and now we need to get an article. Usually, I would recommend getting a new article written and, and then spinning it into multiple versions. However, there is also an amazing option that our software offers, which allows you to get articles from eZine Article. And to do that, you need to enter your main keyword here, and then we can click download seed article from eZine articles. But this keyword is optional because as you can see, you can also enter additional keywords over here. Then you have eZineArticles.com selected as your article directory. And then you choose how many articles to download. Um, uh, this is at 5 and then click download to get the articles and it will quickly go out and extract 5 articles. Once the articles are downloaded you can take a look at their title and summary and go with the ones that are best for your needs. So I'll select just one article in this case. Uh, after I select it, there are a couple of things that I can do with it. I can click export and it automatically gets exported into a new folder as a text document. Uh, so this is also useful if you want to read the whole article before you choose to use it. You can export all of them and then read and them and choose the one that, that works best for you. Then we've got the remove option which of course removes the selected article and lastly we've got the select button which automatically loads the article over here. If you choose the option of getting articles from eZine articles then you need to be aware that your main keyword might not be used in the article as many times as you'd like. So you need to check it and insert your main keyword if it doesn't exist. Now once you insert your keyword you'll have to insert a URL. So I'll select some random words here uh, just for the sake of this video and I'll make a right click and then choose add link to selected anchor text and just add uh, google.com. So after you're done just click the apply button and you're ready for the submission process. Before we get to submitting it we need to check out two more tabs over here. The second tab 
load article allows us to choose an article from our computer and the third one review simple article allows us to review our article in HTML and you can also spin it again if you want to and you do that by clicking spin again button okay now back to the right side we already have a keyword here that's here from before and after we downloaded the article from easy and articles these tags were generated automatically the the same thing happened with the title but if you want to change this you can of course just make sure you don't use more than 75 characters in total when writing the tags as some websites don't allow more than 75 characters so try to limit yourself with like three to five tags next we've got output URL anchor so after doing a submission this is the anchor text that will be saved in the URL list beside the actual URL and any modules that build links to those URLs will then use this as the anchor text if this is omitted the title field will be used as the output URL anchor then we've got the auto select categories and we already explained that in the previous video so please watch that video if you don't know how to use the auto select categories option and the final submission step is the same select your sites then click the play button and once again the submission process starts right away